10 Overlooked Horror Gems from the 90s That You Must Watch The horror movies from the 90s were often surprisingly good. They had an unconventional plot and ensured that the element of fear was well disguised in the narration. For many, this was a golden era for horror movies. You would pull up your blankets and peek out to watch these scary stories unfolding. However, unlike today, the promotional capabilities were not up to the mark. Many movies lost out on some useful promotional activities and could not reach out to the masses. In this video, we bring you some of these overlooked movies that are going to be a fascinating watch. Each of them has unique captivating stories that will spook you, and all of the movies on the list are less appreciated than they should have been. A word of advice, keep the light on just in case the eerie journey creeps you out. Before we go into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click from you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. Nightbreed 1990 Fear strikes in mysterious ways, and for Nightbreed, the makers chose to use a bizarre plotline to give you the goosebumps. The story revolves around Aaron Boone, a man who is haunted by his nightmares where he dreams about a mythical place named Midian that has monsters. Aaron seeks the help of a psychiatrist who convinces him that he's a serial killer. The psychiatrist even manages to get him killed by the police, but there is a massive twist to the tale. The real killer is the psychiatrist himself. The monsters of his nightmare bring Aaron back to life, and to Together, they must stop the killer. It is a pity that such a cinematic gem was subject to commercial and critical failure. The culprits are the producers, who marketed it wrongfully as a slasher horror movie when it was anything but that. They also chopped off around 20 minutes of the original movie to make things worse. The plot is complicated but fascinating. The evil psychotherapist was perfectly portrayed by David Cronenberg, and Craig Sheffer aced the role of Aaron Boone. The director's cut for this movie offers a different ending than the original version, and both are worth checking out. Everything about this movie is unique, be it the sets, makeup, costumes, or the special effects. Nightbreed will surprise you with the quality plot with a wonderful narrative. The People Under the Stairs, 1991 Imagine the ordeal for robbers if the owners of the house come back while they're there. In this movie, the story begins with such a robbery attempt by a young boy and two adults. When the owners, the brother and sister, return, they can no longer get out. But there is more shock in store for them. Soon they learn about some horrific secrets about the owners and the caged people they keep under the stairs. The direction by Wes Craven would give you the feeling that you're the one locked up inside the horror house. Not only is it well written, the narrative will also keep you hooked onto the screen throughout the movie. As for the acting, Everett McGill stole the show as the psycho brother and his presence upped the creepy quotient for the viewers. Brandon Adams also put up a good show as the protagonist. The sets, particularly the house, were perfected with all the secret passages and gizmos. If you're up for a unique story, different from all that you've seen, this might be your your cup of tea. Brain Scan 1994 what if your murderous rampage in video games ended up being real? This horrific thought will get seated in your head after you watch Brain Scan. The plot revolves around a teenager who is obsessed with horror slasher movies and games. He chances upon a mysterious interactive video game that has the most terrifying situations Taylor made. Things take an ugly twist when he realizes that the brutal murders in the games are also happening in real life. Now, he can't stop playing the game. The troubled youth subculture of the 90s was beautifully captured through a cap captivating story. This fast-paced movie has several things going for it. The acting performance by T. Ryder Smith in his role of the sinister trickster, a creepy character, is praiseworthy. Brain Scan has a surprisingly good soundtrack that adds to the charm of the movie. The film fumbled at the box office because the focus was never on the commercial aspect of things. The makers prioritized the carefully woven characters and the intricate plot over commercial elements. For a horror movie with a social message, this can be a great option to choose. The Dark Half, 1993 a respectable author named Thad has a deep, dark secret. 
He once made a lot of money by writing cheap literature under a fake name George Stark. When he is blackmailed, he goes public with his secret and buries George Stark in a cemetery as a part of a promotional event. But when some horrific murders take place and he becomes the suspect, Thad realizes that his alter ego is trying to take over his life. Can he protect himself and his family? Horror movies are often about the ambiance that the makers managed to create and with the dark half, that's taken care of. The direction is spot on and is helped by some perfect acting performances by Timothy Hutton. There are many twists in the tale which will keep you guessing till the very end of the film. Stephen King's works require a skilled director to adapt, and the dark half would rank amongst the best of his creations. Only if the promotion was better and the movie could reach out to more people. I to understand. This is not something you wish to see. Uh-huh. Very well. Oh. <laughs> My eyes! Wishmaster, 1997. Remember the mysterious Jin? The mischievous monster is back in this movie where he's been assigned a sinister character. He grants people their wishes, but in a horrible and gruesome manner. When he's accidentally released from his captive state, he takes the form of a man and goes around killing and stealing souls. A young gemologist must stop him with a perfect wish that will banish him forever. As far as acting performances are concerned, Andrew Divoff is mesmerizing in his role as the malicious Jin. His scary and harsh voice fits the bill perfectly. Tammy Lauren does justice on her part as the spunky heroine. Some of the scenes are truly iconic, such as when a woman asks the Jin to be granted permanent beauty and he turns her into a mannequin. There is plenty of gore and the work with special effects has been impressive for this film. In a nutshell, Wishmaster will charm you to no end with the newness in its plot. <laughs> Dust Devil 1992 Dust Devil is an evil spirit that has shape-shifting abilities. He preys on the lonely and weak and finds the ideal victim when he spots a woman who is running from her abusive husband. The woman gives him a lift and instantly regrets her actions. A police officer with the help of some witchcraft tries to deter the beast from completing its mission. Can he save the lady? You have to watch this fascinating movie to find out. The film has all the elements that perfect a horror movie. There's a creepy plotline that involves plenty of gore. There's an undertone of nihilism throughout the movie, and the masochistically grim mood would appeal to the admirers of such content. Particular mention must be made of the exquisite cinematography of the Namibian desert. Actors put up a decent show, and Robert John Burke in particular is fascinating as the charismatic monster. It is a tricky movie to categorize, but we assure a haunting experience. Hardware, 1990. The movie is set in a post-apocalyptic world where a desert scavenger finds a robotic head. A space marine, Moses Baxter, buys it for his girlfriend, but trouble starts brewing when the head gets activated and starts rebuilding itself. He learns that it was once a part of a military cyborg program before being abandoned. Now, the cyborg seeks to terminate his girlfriend Jill, and the Marine must work his magic to stop this deadly force. This film does not have the big-budget pretensions, but never falls short on the symbolism. The dystopic world that has been presented will leave you thinking. Hardware is a movie that you must work with, exploring the various angles. The narrative is straightforward, but some scenes are sure to leave you spellbound. Some religious references and imagery make things all the more interesting. The actors do their bit, and the direction is just perfect to bring out the true flavors of this movie. Not watching it would mean that you miss out on an absolute gem. Lord of Illusions, 1995. A private detective investigates a routine case, but finds himself in the midst of much greater mysteries. A cult leader was gunned down by his best trainee, Swan, 12 years ago, and now the cult members await his resurrection. Swan, in the meantime, has gone on to become an illusionist. The investigator was hired to protect Swan, but somehow Swan died during one of his tricks. The underlying truths are much darker than what meets the eye, and we leave it for you to figure out. For starters, when you're watching this movie, check out the uncut director's version on DVD format instead of the theatrical release. The movie explores the world of demons, magic, and religion in 
a credible way. The complex story does not allow you to take a breather and demands the utmost concentration. Daniel Von Bergen as the cult leader Nix is as good as a negative role gets. Other actors also exhibit great acting skills and add to the charm of the movie. Clive Barker is a time-tested maestro when it comes to weaving his magic across the fantasy genre, and this is possibly among his best works. Lord of Illusions is horror served raw for your consumption. Castle Freak 1995 If you're watching a horror movie and a family moves into an old castle, you can imagine what follows. Castle Freak dwells on the unusual but does so with a fresh presentation. John inherits an ancient 12th century castle in Italy and moves in with his wife and blind daughter. Soon they're greeted with weird noises, mysterious occurrences, and a nocturnal visitor to their daughter. To make things worse, they find that the housekeeper and a local prostitute have been brutally murdered in the dungeon of the castle. Can John fathom the mysteries of the castle and save his family? Castle Freak is a Lovecraftian horror and directed by Stuart Gordon, one of the experts at such adaptations. The result shows as the gothic atmosphere is enough to send shivers down your spine. There are some gory scenes and the makeup team does exceptional work making everything appear realistic. The screenplay is engrossing with some amazing characters and well-written dialogues. In short, if you appreciate the genre, you might as well check out this underrated classic.